Hey everyone, welcome back to the Going Zero Ways YouTube channel. I'm Katherine Kellogg and today I'm going to tell you all about my trip to Disneyland. So I recently went to Disneyland with a group of girls for my friend's bachelorette party. Um, we had an absolute blast and I want to tell you all about different ways that I tried to prevent waste. It certainly wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, I did the best I can and that's all that you can really do. If you want to find out more information, make sure to check out the blog post I wrote about this. It's really, really extensive. So one of the first things I did was pack and we were going to be in the park for a couple days and every night we were going to go out. So I packed uh, two pairs of shorts, two shirts and a couple dresses as well as my bathing suit for our day by the pool. That swimsuit is Jessica Ray, made in LA, and I really like it a lot. Also, Nala was not too happy to see me packing. She very much was trying to uh, distract me in the process. So I packed everything in this backpack, which is from Rewilder, and it's made out of pre-consumer waste. It's made out of airbags and seat belts, and it is so cute and stylish. It wipes completely clean because it's totally waterproof, super resilient, and a zero waste company, handmade in LA. I absolutely love them. It was a gift, and I'm a huge fan. I will leave more about the company down in the description box below, but it was just the perfect weekend bag, and it fit everything I needed. Once we got to Disneyland, uh, we went to the park, and if you talk real nicely, they will put treats from the counter into your cloth napkin. Afterwards, we went to the Lamplighter, which is a bar and restaurant. We got some drinks. Just make sure to ask for no straw, but their cocktail menu was so cute. It also had this really incredible view of the Incredicoaster. And Knowing more about the park and when it was founded, I was so intrigued by the rides that were made before plastic was even around, like the Snow White ride and the Peter Pan ride, but we got real tipsy and we rode this Cars ride and it was so much fun. Then afterwards we got to see the Light Up Parade. I'm sure that's called something better than Light Up Parade, but you know, you get the gist. There's a lot of lights. It was fun. The next day we just kind of hung out by the pool. We didn't do much, but they had water slides and that was awesome. We had this little cabana, which was fun. And I will say when ordering drinks, those did come in plastic. So if you want to know how I kind of tried to reduce my plastic waste, head to the blog post. We ordered some breakfast, which came in these reusable plastic plates, but make sure you bring a fork and a napkin. I uh, got the Mickey waffles, and then I had some potatoes to keep it veg friendly. Later that night, we went to Splitsville, which was a lot of fun. It's this like bowling alley restaurant combo. Once again, make sure to ask for no straw with your drink. Disney is phasing out straws and plastic stirs and working on that, but they're definitely not there yet. Also, there was this duck just chilling by the fountain and he was awesome. His name is Donald and he's just really enjoying the nightlife, enjoying the scene, about to go bowling. He's probably a better bowler than I am. I am actually a very very terrible bowler, but we managed to get one video of me actually making a pretty successful uh, bowl. As you can see, I uh, thankfully did not ruin my 32 average, because that would have ju just been a tragedy. The next morning we woke up real early at like 7 o'clock, we went to the park, we got to see the rope drop, and then we went to Guardians of the Galaxy, which was a blast. We got to meet several Star Wars characters, and then we went to the Alfresca Terrace for an early lunch, which I cannot recommend highly enough. All reusable, very, very reasonably priced, and very veg friendly. This is in California Adventure, and it was really, really nice healthy options too. 
And while I was at the park, one thing I really, really wanted to try was Dole Whip. It's dairy free and it looks so tasty and I definitely tried it. Make sure that you have your reusable spoon or fork to eat it, but I did get a plastic container and I have no shame. I also love this sign that said, keep our pier clean. And one of the best things about Disneyland is how easy it is to fill up your water bottle. There are water fountains everywhere. Even standing in lines for rides, they've got water fountains. So if you have your water bottle on you, you will be able to prevent so much waste. That's my best tip. Make sure to head to the blog post so you can read all about Disney. I really hope that you enjoyed that video and that you found it useful. If so, give it a thumbs up or press that big red subscribe button to be notified when new videos come out. All right, well, I will see you next week with another video.